everyone, we're going to graph the system of linear inequalities, um, determine if it's bounded or unbounded, and label the corner points. So the first thing we're going to notice is that this, uh, these first two here just tell us that we're in quadrant 1, so all the shading should occur in quadrant 1, no matter what these are. And for these, I'm just going to use my x and y intercepts to graph. It makes it easier. This one's going to be a little off, but we'll, we'll try it. So first of all, the first two were bounded by x and y are greater than or equal to 0. So that just tells us we're going to be shading in this quadrant 1 here. And I'm not going to shade it because I have these other lines, but all the shading should occur in quadrant 1. All right, and the next question, the one we have is x, let's do red, x plus y is greater than or equal to 2. So I'm going to use my x and y intercepts. When x is 0, y is 2, and when y is 0, x is 2. So I just plot my x and y intercept and graph that line here. Now it says that it has to be greater than. So if you plug in 0, 0 here, and you put 0 plus 0, we know that that's not greater than or equal to 2. So basically we're going to be shading um, in the opposite direction instead of down. And a good rule of thumb is when you're doing greater than, you're shading up or to the right, and when you're doing less than, you're doing shading down or to the left. Um, also, all of these uh, that we have are going to have an equal sign on them. Okay. Uh, the next one we had was uh, x plus y is less than or equal to 8. So again, when x is 0, y is 8. And when y is 0, uh, x is 8. So I go up here and go over here. 8, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, and then graph those in here. Now this one says less than, so if I put 0, 0 in here, I have 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 8, and that's true, so that means you shade in towards this direction. So we're going to be shading down. Still, uh, maintaining that we're only going to be in quadrant 1. Now our next problem, next uh, linear equation was um, x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 1. So when x is 0, y is going to be 1 half. <coughs> I just plugged in 0, but when y is 0, x is just going to be 1. So we have 1, 0, 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 half, which is right in here. And so I graph that. Something like that. Um, and we want greater than. So greater than includes up in here, but since this red line, which is uh, this one right here, has to be greater than 2. We can't shade there. We're going to start shading in here. So we're not going to shade in this area. So the area we're going to shade is right in here. And we're going to keep it in this quadrant 1. Don't shade on the outside of quadrant 1. Uh, da, 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 da. So this is the way to shade. Or you could just draw um, crosshatch lines, which probably would have been better. All right, it is bounded, and the only thing we do have to do is find the corner points. I think this one's going to be a little easier. So here's a corner point, the bounded area. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. So we have four corner points, and that would be uh, 0, 2, 0, 8, the ones on our 2 y-intercepts, and our 2 x-intercepts were 2, 0, and 8, 0. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>